Hi there, this is the tutorial on how to use my ultimate Airbnb planner. So if you have an Airbnb that you already have or you're trying to get set up, this is a perfect way to organize your Airbnb business. So this has 14 tabs on the bottom and we're going to go left to right and I'm going to show you how to use everything. If you found me on YouTube, feel free to click on the link in the description below to purchase this spreadsheet. I do have every one of these spreadsheets in, listed individually. If you don't want all 14 tabs in one, I have them all available for purchase individually if you just need one. Okay, so here we go. So the first tab is the README. Once this video is created, the link to watch this video will be here. Um, the Profit Calculator. So this overall, um, I have a very detailed video on how to use this calculator. Um, it is a very long process of figuring everything out, but I will tell you easily that everything that is in pink, you can, um, light pink, that you can put in the data. Um, I have information on the bottom, so there's miscellaneous pretty much in every section where you can add in miscellaneous expenses, uh, setup costs, and that sort of thing. So if you're starting from absolute scratch and you're trying to figure out the profit, you're going to put in the purchase price of your property, uh, your percentage down payment, uh, the number of interest rate, the number of years, and that'll give you your mortgage payment. 3% uh, closing costs can be changed out too. And then uh, you can manually put in the property value, your average rental cost, and any renovation costs, furniture, and miscellaneous fees. And that'll give you the total number of setup costs. Then you've got nightly expenses. So this would be how much you're paying someone else to clean the home, um, how much you're paying Airbnb, 3% for a host fee rate, 4% tax fee. If there is hotel fees, if not, just put in zero. If you need to restock replenishables, coffee, paper towels, um, that's how much you're going to pay nightly for that. And then miscellaneous expenses. You've got a monthly mortgage that comes in automatically from here. Uh, monthly subscriptions, management fees, expenses, average monthly expenses. Um, that is coming from a different section um, automatically. And then you'll get your total average monthly expenses. You've got total annual expenses, which is house taxes, insurance, HOA fees. If your house taxes are paid for automatically in escrow through your mortgage, then you can mark this as zero. And this is your total annual expenses. Nightly re revenue, this is your average nightly rate. You've got a cleaning fee that you're charging your guests, service fee you're charging your guests, and total service fees. Total fees charged to guests and nightly revenue. Um, this is your grand total monthly revenue. This is your grand total annual revenue, grand total annual expenses. Then this is your monthly net income and then your yearly net income. Um, so if you're paying on a mortgage on your property, this is probably why your monthly net income isn't as much because you're paying the 1200 bucks a month for your mortgage. So once you get that sucker paid off, this monthly net income is going to be a lot more. Okay, moving on. Um, setup checklist. If you are setting up the home from absolute scratch, we've got um, a checklist here from buying the home, checking it off. Uh, researching, profit margin, prices, everything. Now, again, each one of, of these uh, spreadsheets, I have a separate video on going over every detail and talking lots about it, but this is just an overview. So this video doesn't take four evs. Okay, so buying the home, home setting up. You can change this if you want. So you can type in, you know, an extra item here, and then you can check this off. If you want to change this, you can change this as well. Um, however you want this to be, this is your sheet. Once you buy this, you're going to make a copy and you can change it how you want. All right, listing on Airbnb, the basics of listing, uh, setting up, taking photos, creating a listing description, um, and then welcoming the guests from signs to emails, um, keys, that sort of thing. This is a great checklist for you to use. There's also a shopping list and notes. Inventory checklist. So if you're setting up your Airbnb or you're a management company and you're helping others to set up their Airbnbs, this is a great place to do that. You've got a section for kitchen, pantry, cookware, bedrooms, 
bathrooms, entryway, laundry room, and outdoors, a shopping list, and some notes. So again, um, as you buy everything, you can check it off here. If there's something that you don't want, just put it in, take it out. Don't put it in there or put in your other extra item. That's um, how this works. It's so easy. If you wanted to do two bedrooms instead of three, then just take this out. You don't have to use it. Just delete it all. Hit the backspace. Uncheck it. And that's fine. Now, if you wanted to print any of this stuff, go to File, Print, Print Current Sheet. Now, the scale, it, you want it to be fit to width. Because if you did normal, it would do this. So you wanted to do fit to width. I would uncheck all your boxes and then you can print it out and it'd be nice to just have. This would be great for your um, cleaning checklist and your inventory checklist if you wanted to print that out. Okay, let me undo this because I want it to be pretty the way I had it. Okay, dashboard. This shows you your annual revenue, the number of book bookings that you've had. Um, you can put your mouse over here and then it'll show you your um, number of bookings and your monthly revenue. Okay, your monthly revenue um, comes in from the guest info sheet. So if you've got um, a property name, so if you've got multiple properties, if you have one, you've got a nickname. So say you've got Shady, let's do Ruby Estate. Um, you put in the guest address. And then um, let's see. I'm having the hardest time coming up with names. Um, just writing, making this up. Okay, put in a guest phone, guest email, number of guests, check in date. So if they're gonna come in, let's do two one twenty three to two five twenty three. This is gonna automatically calculate the number of nights. You've got deposit received a hundred bucks. They pay their deposit on one five. They still owe a thousand bucks. Then once you have the total amount received, you put that here. Uh, I'm just making up numbers. And then final due date, the fourth. Okay. Um, and then I've got check boxes here. So you've got um, pre check in detail email. So if you want to send them a message about, you know, check in information, rules, keys, how to get in, um, a two week before their stay uh, email reminder, one week reminder pre-check and cleaning, post-check and cleaning, feedback and sent and received. So any of these, just check them off as they, as you do, um, just like that. Now, the um, Ruby Estate, we've got Charlotte Smithson that's staying on the 1st to the 5th. Now we're going to go over to the monthly calendar. And this is where everything is going to be booked. So everything that you put in on the guest info tab is going to show up on the monthly calendar. So Ruby, the Charlotte Smithson is staying at the Ruby estate from on February 1st. So if we're going to go here, click on our month. Look, there they are. They're checking in at the Ruby estate. Their last name is Smithson. And then they're checking out on the fifth. So this is a great way to keep up with what's going on. Um, this this is gonna if you put in the year, this will change to the right dates. So you can book out as long as you want, uh, which is great. We can go back to 2023, and we'll go to January. And January is busy. So we've got the Chelsea Inn when the people are checking in and checking out. So you can keep up with all of those thought, fun things. And I'm so excited, you guys, about this spreadsheet. Um, I can't even tell you because I've been working on this for a while. And um, I have been just really excited. So I'm, I'm stoked and I'm hoping that this helps you guys. I would love to hear feedback. So feel free to reach out about that. Okay, so property list. All right, so this is where you have all the number of properties that you have. Um, so if you've got a new property coming in, let's see, let's say it's property four, the address, occupancy, the channel, amenities, if I can spell right today, waterfront, if there's any fun details you want to remember about it, uh, the nightly price and contact info. Okay. So the property four, um, everything that's on this column is going to come in on the guest info tab. So your property name is going to be automatically put in here. Um, when you type it on the property list. So remember that, um, so this doesn't need to be changed 
automatically um, you just have to, to put that in here on the property list okay to-do list super simple um, this keeps up with your high priority tasks medium priority tasks and low priority tasks you put in your um, to-do and you put in your date you can double click in here for a date check it off when it's done and it'll change up everything as you got it going on so that's your to-do list and we've got a few more all right guys you ready here we go we're halfway through all right cleaning checklist so this is a great thing for you to use for your cleaning people or for you to make sure that you've done every room in the house so um we've got kitchen living room bedroom four bedrooms a dining room entryway laundry room patio bathrooms notes and a shopping list um this is totally customizable you can change this however you want um so if you wanted to make this the great room make it the great room um and if you don't want to sweep and mop if you just want to um, vacuum how do you spell vacuum i spelled it right i always misspell it um okay so then you just check it off as you're done and if you want to add any other items you can there's some blank lines here totally customize this um, how you want also let me go back and undo this make it pretty okay if you want to print this out i would suggest to uncheck these boxes that we like we did with before file print and you can do current sheet landscape and fit to width and you can print this out if you did portrait it would kind of look like this so it doesn't really matter so that's how that works all right subscription tracker all right this keeps up with all of the subscriptions that you've got in your airbnb so if you've got netflix um let's just pretend that we had didn't have that on there okay so we've got netflix the category the drop down how often and i don't know 19 bucks payment date double click in here next payment deal let's do oh let's check a different month the 28th and then it will calculate your um yearly average spend your monthly spend and your weekly spend and then you it'll show you um your average subscriptions if you're doing more monthly more annual more weekly and then your average cost uh, service provider tracker so if you need to keep up with who you are working with um, air conditioning people your anybody that is going to be making maintenance on the house this is a great place to just put everything on here and keep track of it you can put your frequency the name phone number their website their price date of service completely date and pay this isn't this so helpful you guys all right airbnb income and expenses this is helpful to keep up with your bookkeeping for the year it'll keep up with your total annual income now i will tell you this does not communicate with this guest info tab you're going to have to manually put in everything for the income and expenses this is a totally separate little thing this dashboard communicates with the transactions and that's it all right so uh it'll show you do total annual expenses um your monthly income versus expensive and then this is your net profit um so you can just highlight this all here and it will show you your net profit is 188 to 188 200 sorry it's early all right um and then of course you can click in here and then put your um cursor you're just like sliding your cursor over everything here and then it'll show you your monthly income okay uh, this is your transactions so um, column b is just leave that alone that's an automatic thing so let's just start from the beginning okay um this number right here this is your net profit for the year so um if you wanted to know all right so let's put in one five twenty three and then this is going to be a sale um income and then this is going to be um a booking and then they paid 500 um we paid 26 dollars for cleaning and our net profit is 
474. And then this is our total net profit, total expenses, and total income for the year. And like I said, this communicates with this, so these numbers should be accurate. Isn't that fun? All right, guys, so that is the entire Airbnb Ultimate Planner. So again, if you found me on YouTube, click on the link in the description below to purchase this bad boy. I really hope this helps you. I'm really excited about your Airbnb. Would love to hear feedback um, in a message. Feel free to contact me on Etsy. And um, I'm at SavvyandThrivey.com, SavvyandThrivey.Etsy.com, wherever you want to purchase is great. So hope you all have a good one.